I'd like to welcome you to our Saturday Night Joyful Gathering Spiritual Center Inspirational Message and Prayer. We do this Saturday evenings instead of Sunday mornings, but we do have the share. We have the, um, the other part of the talk is up tomorrow. So I'm Reverend Margaret Pelagi, founder of Joyful Gathering Spiritual Center, and it's located in Westmont, New Jersey. And I'm so happy that you've decided to join us this evening, because we are holding our service live on Facebook, and it will be up on YouTube. So we have the Facebook going and the YouTube going. All of our other events during the week will be on Zoom. So I'd like you to go check out our website, joyfulgathering.org, where you will find all of the codes that you need, uh, the talks are up there, all the information that you might need. Also, you might want to make a donation. You can make that right on that front page of Joyful Gathering or through Venmo, Joyful Gathering Spiritual Center. So let's begin this evening by taking a deep breath together. Let's all take a breath. Uh, let's breathe in peace. And exhale that peace. Oh, feel that peace just filling your body. Let's breathe in light. And exhale light. And so knowing that we are anchored and rooted in the peace and the light of the divine right in this present moment. Tonight we're going to look at the idea of the circle of life. Knowing that the circle, the cycle, is an ongoing series of beginnings and endings, of openings and closings, of hellos and goodbyes, and yes, even the beginning of this COVID-19 pandemic and the ending, because the title of this talk is This Too Shall Pass. No circumstance stays forever. That, that is going to be the thrust of our talk this evening. There is something very important for us to know about this circle. The circle of life is not static. Rather, it is ever expanding, ever transcending, and ever growing upward and outward, always. I believe that we, come, we will come out of this global experience so much different and so much better than when we went into it. As Dr. Ernest Holmes writes in his Science of Mind book, the spiral of life is upward, eternal, and progressive expansion, and it is the law, and there are no breaks in this continuity. So that circle of life, the cyclical life that we all live in, does not have any breaks in it. It is beginnings and ends. And you'll see what I'm talking about right now. Specifically, we are going to look at the downward, tonight, the downward arc of the circle of life. Places that feel like beginnings and endings, goodbyes, deaths, all kinds of endings. Because remember, the circle goes around. So in the downward arc of life, you know, we might find ourselves there sometimes, but we always, that circle is continuous, we always will rise up again. The idea, you are, this is the idea I want to really hone in on. You are more than what you have become. You are more than what you have become in this moment. So take your place in the circle of life. That's our mantra. And I want to make it a, a little personal, so I'm going to tweak it a little. I am more than where I am right now. I can take my place in this circle of life. 
really understand that you are an important and integral part of the circle of life itself. And my desire is to assist you in getting a new perspective of that downward arc in this infinite circle by two ways we're going to talk about. One, finding the blessings it has to offer, and two, realizing that it did not come to stay. In fact, it came to pass. I know I have to talk about looking for the good, finding the blessing in every situation. And you might think, oh yeah, okay, right. There she goes again. But here, we really go again, because it's life. I want to give you two thoughts that are a bit different from the idea of simply looking for the good in a specific, not so good situation. Just a little different. Although that is always a very powerful practice to do, look for the good in any situation. So keep that part up. But several years ago, one of the daily meditations in the Science of Mind magazine contained a wonderful metaphor, and if you know me, you know I love metaphors, that I've never forgotten. The author of this article had a window next to her computer looking out at a skylight in the overhanging roof. As she looked out one day, she saw a hummingbird that was trapped, stuck under the skylight. It had flown under the roof and then to the light of the skylight and was then trying to get out via the skylight, the light, obviously without success. As she sat and watched this struggle, her intuition told her that this creature of God would instinctively go to the true source of all life, light, beyond the roof. So she decided to cover up that skylight. She cut a piece of material and covered it up. It was a false light that that hummingbird was flying into. And right after she got it up, she, the hummingbird flew free. And this is what she wrote in the, in the magazine. This incident, and you might take this to heart, Okay? This incident caused me to ask myself, what happens in my life when I have been following a false light? And I realized that some kind of dark night of the soul often occurs. And in that moment, in that moment, I give thanks for the dark night of the soul because it is an indication for me to take another path to the light. I then follow the truth of being well connected. God is my light, she said, and my connection with this truth cannot be broken. So being in, sometimes, the downward arc, that dark place, maybe because you have allowed yourself to get off track with your relationship with a power so much greater than you or I. That which created all that is, was, and ever will be. The great spiritual energy of life and light itself. And when we veer away from that, life's circumstances might hit us hard and we don't have that support as we, the same support that we have with the, and when we are in contact and have that deep relationship with the God of our understanding. A blessing of the downward arc is that it is a messenger. It is a messenger for you, a messenger that says, wake up, find the true light again. And of course, once you, once you find that light, you will be on the path of connecting with the indwelling love that is always there. Catherine Ponder, great, great author, wonderful human being, wrote this in her, I think this goes in here really well, her dynamic law of healing. This is what she wrote. 
When people have lived for years in wrong thought, they have molded those negative notions into their bodies and thoughts. Now they have begun to do an about face, thinking in terms of love, praise, forgiveness, release. Such reverse thoughts are a big dose of, for their system to take. And so there is a clash between the old and the new ways of thinking. Bear with me, everyone, because we're going to get, this gets really good, okay? At such time, the good thing to remember is that one positive thought is more powerful than a thousand rowdy negative thoughts. The old way of thinking is on its way out no matter how much noise it makes in the process, it has to go. But having been in control for so long, it doesn't give up without a fight. Even while it is flaring up for the last time, you know that it is actually unconditionally surrendering and soon will be gone completely. And meanwhile, she writes, there may be a lot of excitement as it takes its last stand. So it could be that what seems to be a downward arc in the circle of life for you is simply the necessary natural progression of the beginning of a new positive experience. Look for the good, be grateful, and remember that this too shall pass. It is important that whatever is going on whether you are having an opportunity to find that true light or in the process of complete change, that this came to pass. I can't say this enough because we got to remember that. This came to pass. How many times in the Bible do we read that phrase, and it came to pass? We could take a good lesson from the phrase, it came to pass, it didn't come to last. Or, when you're going through hell, don't stop and build a condo, right? And re to remember that we must keep moving. This is called transformation. The law of circulation which is always moving. The universal creator is always moving and creating. It cannot stand and it abhors stagnation. It must be moving. It's the same for us. We're created out of this oneness, this life. What great counsel that is for putting the downward arc of the circle in perspective for us. It's a learning tool. Right now, some of us might feel like we are in that downward cycle in the circle of life. And it can be frightening being sick, worried about finances, feeling lonely, and the list goes on. And I have great compassion for those feelings, even if I don't happen to be feeling it right now. There have been times in my life that I've been really sick. I get it where I've been really worried about finances, where I've been really lonely and scared, frightened. And guess what? All of those experiences came to teach me something and then didn't stay. They passed. But the lessons I received while going through all of that, that lasts too within my human mind. Here's a couple of the lessons that I got. It is imperative to fully and completely live in the present moment. Not in, don't futurize your life. That is where the fear and worry is. Do not futurize your life. And it is truly, I believe, absolute that the universe always supports. I have been in situations where it looked like there was no way out. No way. And you know what? The universe came up with something. 
and I couldn't have planned it, and it always passed. My illnesses have passed, and I learned so much from them. I learned acceptance, because what else are you gonna do when you're sick in a bed? I learned acceptance, to allow loving help from others. That's a big one for a lot of us. And I deeply realized that I am never truly alone. My faith, the divine energy that flows through me, is always with me. That's why it is imperative to cultivate that relationship with the indwelling divine self of who you are. And my biggest lesson was this too shall pass. We block our flow of thinking, our dark moments, when we think that these are really here to stay, like this never gonna end. We know that's not true, but it feels that way. We begin our movement in the circle of life, again, by realizing that they came to pass. And so that's the title of the talk, This Too Shall Pass. And really, I feel that that is one of the greatest and most powerful affirmations that you could make. This too shall pass. This too shall pass, because it will. And so, my friends, if you find yourself in that downward arc, experiencing a dark night of the soul, hold on to that upward move. Remember, the circle goes around. So as it hits here, the dark night of the soul, it's gonna go back up again. And it can be, if you get those lessons when you're in that dark place, that's when transformation for you and for the planet, because we are interpersonal, we're all interconnected. There is only one, we see this now. If it was ever in our face before, it's in our face now. This is a global community. We are a human race having this global experience right now, but ultimately we are spiritual beings having this human experience on a global realm. Ernest Holmes, to end this, this talk, trying to make them a little shorter for all you people in uh, YouTube and uh, Facebook land, but I want to quote Ernest Holmes, okay? In his book, Holmes Reader, on meaning, he wrote this. We may experience, he wrote this, listen to this, he wrote this a hundred years ago. Tell me if this is not applicable to today. A hundred years ago, almost. We may meet difficulties, uncertainties, and doubts, barriers walling our passage, but we must not be discouraged when confronted. As we climb over the rocks of unbelief, pass around the barriers of doubt, and plunge into the stream with faith, the stream will ever widen. The barriers will gradually disappear. Though we walk through the plains and the valleys of indecision and doubt, the stream will still carry us back to the ocean of our being. So if you feel like you are on this downward arc of the circle of life, please, please know. Not only are we here to support you, a joyful gathering spiritual center with our many practitioners, website, all of their names, phone numbers, you can call them. We're here to pray with you, to be there for you. And just know, in that cycle, in that downward arc where it feels like it's never ending, this too shall pass. It really will. And blessings will come forth from every experience that we have. Just keep the faith. Just know that there is a power for good. That power is working for you. It's working for me. It's working for everyone when we apply it correctly. So what I say to you right here, because I'm going to go into prayer, but what I say to you right here is love, peace, and blessings of transformation for you and for everyone.